This video highlights the work of East Suffolk Council's Economic Regeneration Team. The team led on the creation of the Town Investment Plan for Lowestoft, a collaborative and innovative project which focused on placemaking and creating a vivid living story for the town. In doing this, we have engaged and worked closely with the local community to shape and begin the delivery of wide-ranging physical and cultural regeneration. Lowestoft is the most easterly town in the UK and its story is intimately connected to the North Sea. Sitting within the district of East Suffolk, it is Suffolk's second largest town and has a population of 73,800. Like many coastal towns, Lowestoft faces some challenges, which include the impacts of COVID-19, educational attainment, crime, flooding, and unemployment. However, there are significant opportunities on the horizon for the town, including the clean energy sector, marine science, tourism, culture and heritage, fishing, and digital transformation. In Lowestoft, we are proud that all our stakeholders have a shared ambition and aspiration for the town, and this is reflected in our forward-looking and distinct story for the place. We will constantly aspire to be first and strive to be leading in everything we do. And that means inspiring our community to be the best it can be. Lowestoft has so much going for it, but we need to celebrate and communicate our successes. We are creating a new first place. Lowestoft is on the cusp of transformation with significant recent public sector investment announced for the Gullwing Bridge and the Lowestoft Flood Risk Management Programme, the delivery of a new energy skills centre, East Coast College and the redevelopment of CFAS headquarters. This sits alongside private sector investment from Scottish Power Renewables and City Fibre through the Full Fibre Project. The town's rich and proud maritime heritage and culture has shaped the town and its community. Lowestoft is at the heart of the UK's clean energy sector, sitting at the gateway to the offshore wind farms off the East Anglian coast, with the port of Lowestoft housing key operations and maintenance facilities. With a stunning natural environment and an emerging creative sector providing cultural development opportunities, it's an exciting time for the town Planning for regeneration of the town, we all knew we had to be bold and ambitious, and the COVID-19 pandemic has made that paramount. We want to see the town's economy prosper, ensuring growth is inclusive with a revitalised town centre and seafront that benefits from the well-being of both communities and visitors alike. The Placemaking Programme Initiative and the telling of the Lowestoft story began in 2019 as part of the cultural project Making Waves Together, which aimed to improve the cultural offer in Lowestoft. The purpose of this initiative was to link the cultural placemaking work with the physical regeneration ambitions of the town. This has resulted in a collaborative approach to physical regeneration projects by bringing stakeholders together to create a common story which fed into the creation of the town investment plan. In October 2020, Lowestoft launched its town investment plan and secured £24.9 million as part of the government's Towns Deal initiative. This is to provide seed funding so that we can begin to realise the ambitions of the plan. The 
The projects within Lowestoft's town investment plan will deliver significant new infrastructure which will improve both the physical and digital connectivity of the area. We also hope that it will act as a catalyst for new ventures and innovation. The plan also seeks to ensure that the town's communities are resilient to future changes, such as climate change and the reset after uh, COVID-19. The projects enable, will enable um, employment sites, quality housing, green spaces, and the promotion of active travel alongside a revitalised town centre and seafront with a high quality cultural and leisure offer. The Places Board role will be to enable its key partners and stakeholders to work together to shape the plan and the town. We've also created a lead ambassadors group which have been chosen from the community to be involved in our work and the ambassadors group will be used as a conduit for all consultation to ensure that there is good communication. This will provide us with an opportunity for the community to get involved in what is happening and help promote positive messages about the place and its story. We have created an investment plan which we hope will make a real difference to Lowestoft and look forward to delivering it in collaboration with our partners over the next 10 years. So why are we here today? Well, it's because we have a shared interest and passion for Lowestoft, a desire for it to be a successful place for the benefit of everyone. And together we want to make Lowestoft even better and even better known. And we do indeed have a very strong story to tell. What we have to do is to get our voice heard above the noises of places regionally, nationally and even internationally. We need a simple story explaining what we're all about and what we're trying to achieve as a place. We need to work together collaboratively to demonstrate a shared sense of ambition. What we do know is that in order to respond to the shock coronavirus has given our economy, we need to hang on to the jobs we have and create new ones, especially for our young people. And to have any chance of achieving that, we need a stronger, much more compelling and competitive proposition for what the area has to offer, especially to businesses and investors. Naturally, the local community will play a huge role in these plans and interventions, and we will all work in a collaborative way as part of a fresh and innovative approach to placemaking. This is the Lowestoft story.